A lot has happened since I've last been here, so let's get right into it. Hello and welcome to another Metro Depot construction update from Taft's Well. If this is the first time you're seeing this, I'd thoroughly recommend watching my first depot construction update video in the top right, end screen, and in the description. As soon as I got to Taft's Well, I could see all the steel work that has just shot up in the last few weeks, and although I was itching to rush over to it, I had to control myself and get some shots of the station and Ford Bedden Road first. As I briefly mentioned in the electrification video, the track around the station has been reballasted and it looks lovely. I did have a quick look at the new platform extension, it's still not open yet unfortunately. There's a lot of cable troughing installed around the station, and of course lots of groundwork near the temporary platform extension. We'll return to this in just a second. Moving on to Ford Bledin Road, and there's now a new pedestrian access route connecting to Cardiff Road, which I really appreciate, and it's allowed me to get some fantastic shots. Walking down here, the first thing to note is that there's a massive trench which goes under the road and under the tracks and it appears to connect the old electrical building to what will be the traction power substation, which is what all the foundation work next to the platform is. This then connects to that massive cable troughing that we saw earlier. Carrying on to the top of Ford Bledin Road, and work has started on restructuring the junction so that trains can pass under it and into the depot. There are a lot of steel sheet piles around, and some footers and rebar. I was trying to make sense of how this will all come together, but I can't. I haven't a clue. <laughs> One thing I can say though, is that being up here provides some spectacular views. I then did a full perimeter walk around the site, which is now possible thanks to the new pedestrian access route, and finally, we can get some views of what you're probably all here to see, the seal work for the actual maintenance building itself. I then stopped by the network control centre and got some much better views than I did last time, even spotted a security robot. It was then just a case of crossing over the A470 footbridge to get some views of the whole site from across the road. From this angle you can see that the ground has been excavated under the building and my guess is that this is for the inspection pits. While making my way back towards Taswell station I caught a glimpse of some track work before noticing there, right there, were the point sections for diverting trains into the depot and between the two lines. I couldn't believe that they were on site already but also that they exist in a single piece at all. I guess precision is key to railway engineering. Safe to say, it was the highlight of the day for me.
Ending on a high note, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, if you'd like, of Metro Construction Updates. If you have enjoyed it, please do consider sharing the video with others or even subscribing. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next Metro Update.